this is Castle of Castle Does, and I always do the weird stuff. This is Castle of Castle Does, got some Subnautica action. Bringing out Zearts. Actually, uh, got a lot of uh, texture work and stuff like that going on. So the prop placement is, you know, going pretty straightforward. You have to do this weird thing where you have to load the game briefly and then shut the game off while you're in the editor. Otherwise, there won't be a sunlight. So, I think uh, I think overall this entire week, uh, one of the things so far that that's sort of been a reoccurring theme is is the weird stuff that, that that you don't learn about unless you're actually doing game development. And there's just so much of it that, like that, for example, having to start the editor and then run the game briefly. Here's another one. See, I can't resize these volumes for uh, special lighting that were just added in, and they allow the, the lighting to change when you go inside of a, a, a cave or, or inside of a structure of some sort, right? So what ends up happening when I'm trying to scale the brush is like, there are two different ways to scale it, and if I try to scale it um, just by, like I would a brush in Radiant or God, no, any other brush type editor, um, it won't remember those scaling. Uh, it won't, everyone won't remember it. So it'll just go back to what it was before. And it took me a long, long time. So you see all these, uh, the black uh, silhouettes of the models? That's because I didn't load, I reset the editor and didn't load the game briefly before I started placing the props. So they end up looking like that. But I, I knew what I was working with. It was only mostly important to know exactly how to get around that problem once I started actually working with the textures and stuff like that. So uh, this entire area currently right now is just using, you know, yellow sand and, and like all this like stuff that's kind of like found everywhere else. I mean, it, you can kind of squint and this looks like the last area I worked on. The, so my goal was to, you know, not only just get props in place, but start differentiating this area. And I didn't really have a whole lot of textures that really met the requirements that I specifically want. So I uh, popped open Photoshop and, and basically described existing textures. But a lot of the time when I was working on this, I was just doing, uh, just planning and trying to look. And I was like, okay, all right, so this this looks pretty good. Uh, I got sort of a green moss that I can kind of plant around. And I know uh, that there's a very cool, like, blue, blue. Um, I guess I could describe it as like a bubbly texture. Sort of, I can just sort of, use that all along the ground it's supposed to, it's something that I'm already waiting for I know it's I'm going to get it but I haven't gotten it yet but it goes underneath all of these uh um like models right now so the floating stones the or pods they're called floating pods and stuff like that like all have this really different um texture that goes underneath them with like special like coral and blue stuff so I was just sort of preparing to get that and, and knowing that it's going to be blue I uh, I knew that I would try to plan around a blue color for the area and you know all the concept art has sort of a blue tint to it right here I had to kind of even this area out because those uh, those weird plants Oh, uh, what do they call membrane trees? They uh, they looked a little too weird on a on a hill, like they would slide down. So here I am right now, grabbing that moss texture, and then the goal is to kind of get like a uh, like you know, sort of like a, a a very blue. I want this area to have a blueness to it, and then and then like an orange or something to kind of contrast it <laughs> not blue orange <laughs> I'm 
I'm not trying to blorange this, but that is just kind of what is going to work for this area. So just so happens to be blorange. Okay, and I know a lot of you don't know what blorange is. It is the con the the tendency for lots of people to use blue and orange together in a scene using the orange as a contrast. So I ended up getting pretty good uh amount with all of that. Got all these models in place and and did some texture work and planning and mostly talking just to figure out what I wanted to do. All right. Thank you.